<laughs> working on a uh, 2017 Ford Fusion with a 1.5 EcoBoost in it. Um, gonna, this isn't like my normal video where I do a step by step. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview on what we're doing with this one. Uh, we're putting the starter. I'm, you have to take the starter off. Uh, I'm actually doing uh, KM phasers, tiny belt, a bunch of work on this, but uh, there's no videos. I was kind of looking online. There's no videos online about how to take the starter off on these. It's actually kind of difficult if you don't know what you're looking at or what you're doing. So we're just going to go through. I've already uh, did what I need to do. So the starter's back on it. But I haven't put everything back together yet. So I'm going to kind of go over what you have to take off and what you have to do um, to get to it. On the top here, you have to remove the battery tray, the uh, air box, and then you have to remove your shifter cable, which is right here. And the reason for that is because there's a bolt on the top. Uh, that goes on the top of the starter and it's really hard you can't even really see it from here um, I had to use a, a long extension with a knuckle and a 15 millimeter socket and or 13 millimeter and you just kind of get down in there and you got to kind of move some uh, heater hoses out of the way to see it and it's just it's really uh, difficult and on that bolt there on the top one you don't remove it all the way just take it out until the starter comes free and just leave it in there because it'd be really hard to get that bolt back in there after you take it off so I'm going to just show you the top stuff first underneath uh, we have to remove a couple things you have to remove the uh, oil filter and oil cooler and then there's a bracket uh, the transmission has to be removed to get to it uh, it's not as bad underneath you can see everything it's tight it's a tight squeeze I got a few tricks on that too underneath so I'm just going to go through uh, we're going to put the shifter cable back on first and then uh, put the battery tray in the air box I'll kind of show you that and then we'll go from there all right, so the first thing we're going to do is put the uh, shifter cable back together. Like I said, this is going to be kind of reverse of what you'll be doing. First, you're going to take your airbox out, the battery out. Since I've already got this out, we got to go reverse. So uh, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of what to do. So here's my shifter cable right here. And it's held on by a 10 millimeter bolt and it snaps in. This plastic piece snaps into the bracket down here. And then this just pushes in and out off of the shifter lever on the transmission. So I'm going to put that in, uh, install it, and I'll kind of show you that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and move you out of the way while I install it, and then I'll show you after I'm done. All right, here's the reason why you have to remove the uh, shifter cable in the first place. You have to get this uh, down in there where that bolt's at. I'll show you where the bolt's at in a minute. Here's what I did. I used a 10-inch extension with a knuckle. There's a knuckle underneath this tape right here. And then a 13-millimeter 13, 13 socket. And what I did is kind of taped... A small layer of tape around the extension, the knuckle, and the socket. That way it doesn't fall apart when I'm in there. That way it doesn't fall apart when I'm in there because if it drops down in there, you might have a big pain uh, getting it back. And what you're going to do is right there. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, right here where my finger's at. See if I can get the light closer. Right here where my finger's at. This is where the shifter hooks to your transmission. And you have to take something and pry that up, pop it off. It just pops on and off. Don't go too crazy on it. And then back here is where it bolts in. The cable bolts in to the bracket. And you have an 8 millimeter bolt right here. Let's see if I can get you a little bit closer. You have an 8 millimeter bolt right there. You take that out. And then you got this plastic uh, retainer that's on the shifter itself. It's got a little uh, hole in it. Just kind of pull, up, take a small screwdriver and kind of pull that back once you get the eight millimeter out. And then that should pull up and get it out of the way. And all you're doing is removing that is because you can't get to that bolt. The shifter cable's on the way of your uh, tools to get to that bolt. And then I'll show you the bolt next. All right, I don't think I can show you where the bolt's at on the camera. I can kind of show you where it's at. Um, if you go straight down back where the transmission and the engine meet, which you can't even see from here, uh, there's two big hoses, somewhat big hoses that come off the back of the engine to the front here. And I got a pry bar right here. And if you kind of pry those over the side a little bit, you don't want to go too crazy because one of them's got a plastic fitting on it. The bolt is right there. And it's basically, if you follow this tube right here and go straight down and over towards the engine, that's where you'll see it. And you have to Get your uh, ratchet, start it through here, underneath all these hoses and stuff where your shifter cable is at. 
get it underneath those hoses and it's right there and that's why uh main reason why i'm making this video because if you've never done one of these it's almost impossible to see where that's at or even know where it's at uh it's not real clear in the service manuals and uh, anyway so that's where it's at and like i said before uh don't take that bolt out leave it in i actually left my uh ratchet and my extension all that hooked to it i never unhooked it until i had it tight again that way i had no uh, worries about it falling out or anything pretty long bolt and you can take the other two bolts out underneath and take this one loose all the way and not have to take it out from the transmission so that's the easiest uh, method I found to do that don't take it all the way out otherwise you have to figure out how to get it back in through all that mess so uh, anyway we'll go ahead and put the battery tray back in in the air box and then I'll show you what's going on underneath it once you get the battery tray lined up you got four bolts uh, so once you get your battery out You have four bolts that are holding it in, and uh, they're all eight, eight millimeter. I gotta get a longer uh, extension, but this is where they're at. You got one here, one there, and then two back there. Then you got a couple different uh, clips. Use a cat claw and unclip some of the harness that's hooked to it. It's not too hard. Just get a cat claw or something like that and uh, unhook them. So I'm just gonna get an extension, tighten those up, start putting the battery back in. All right, so on this air box, it doesn't bolt in like normal. Uh, it's got uh, these two here that push in, and you do have a couple bolts uh, for this front air dam that goes in. But other than that, it just pushes in, and it's pretty hard to pull out. Uh, you have to use a little bit of force to get it out, but it does come out. It just pushes right straight up after you take these two bolts out. All right, so once you get it pushed down in there, uh, you got to pull up your wiring harness here. You got two seven millimeter long bolts that go into this air dam here and then uh, put the lid on put your air hose on and hook up a couple connectors and then we'll slide this battery in and uh, we'll be done up here and then I'll show you what's underneath with the starter all right so while you're under here I'll kind of show you uh, what you're looking at you're gonna see uh, sorry about the lighting I'm trying to... you're gonna see uh, don't pay attention to this bolt this isn't one of them you're going to see this bolt here it's going to have a wire on it with a nut and a ground you're going to take the nut off and uh, remove the wire out of the way and you'll loosen up this uh, bolt and there's one right here that one right there so you got these two 13s right here that need to come off and uh, before you can even see those you got to take this bracket here this bracket goes to your transmission it's got two uh, I think it's eight millimeter nuts that hold it on there's one here and one on the top you got to remove that kind of move it out of the way and then uh, before you can even get to this really you need to remove your uh, oil cooler which is right here and I'll show you uh, the bolt and what size it is to take this off you take your because this sits up uh, you know this normally sits up in here so you're gonna have your oil filter when you get on here at first you'll see your oil filter take that off and then uh, you're gonna take this uh, oil filter cooler off and uh, remove this out of the way because you can't get the starter out uh, with this still bolted up I wouldn't take these lines off you can get the starter out without taking the actual cooler lines off because otherwise you're gonna lose uh, coolant and all that so that I wouldn't even mess with that you can move it away enough to remove the starter out through the hole right here and then uh, so anyway I'll get that bolt and kind of show you that but that's what you're looking at up here you got uh, 13 two 13s on this and then you got the one going through the block the other way I showed you so there's three all together hold the starter in you got to take this bracket off two eight millimeters there is a cable a ground that goes to this and then i'll kind of go over this a little bit and then that's all there is to it for the starter on this all right so that's that cable right there it's in got the two uh nuts for this these are all eight mil i thought i think i said they were 10 mil all right i think so they're eight they're actually what are they yeah they're 10 millimeter so you got the two nuts for this bracket and then that and then uh, you're done with the starter part and then we're just going to put this back on there is a rubber seal on the back of this check that and make sure it's good it should be reusable but if it's got high miles to go ahead and replace it and we're going to uh, put this back up there and then uh, get the bolt the special bolt that's for it i'll show you that real quick all right so once you get your oil filter off uh, this is going to be this is what holds your oil cooler in and it mounts in like this this side goes towards the block the long the one with the long threads and then your oil filter obviously goes here so this is right in the middle of your oil filter 
and I used a uh, T60 to remove it. So, uh, you know, if you're taking it off, you'll take your oil filter off. You'll find this right in the middle of the oil cooler. Use T60, take it off, uh, back it off all the way out, and then you will lose some oil, so put a paint under there. Let it drain for a while before you put your head back under there, and then uh, go ahead and file the rest of the steps I showed you. So, anyway, that's about all there is on the starter on these. Uh, you have to take off your splash shield and all that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, usually I, I like to do uh, step by step, but I wasn't planning on doing this video. And then I was kind of looking at EcoBoost 1.5 videos online and noticed that uh, there's not very many on there about hardly anything. So I figured I'd do the starter because uh, if you're not familiar with some of the with the bolt that's underneath the uh, shifter cable and all that, it can be pretty frustrating. Uh, the first time I did it, I was like, what is this? So anyway... Uh, sorry for the order of it, but this will give you the rundown of what you need to do to get it out and uh, get you back on the road. So anyway, thanks for watching and as always, God bless.